This video is all about autonomous driving and some driver assistance capabilities in cars. Um, and after a very busy week with some workshops in Munich, uh, I finally found some time to dig into my footage that I shoot in, uh, that I've been shooting in uh, China and Shanghai. And I want to know what's currently in the market in China. Like, um, what can people actually buy and use in real? Um, not talking about the pilot projects, about autonomous vehicles that are going on with, for instance, Baidu, uh, Apollo. I want to know what can people actually use today and uh, what, how does it differentiate uh, and who's having the leading technology in this aspect. I'm on my way to meet one Neo customer here in Shanghai. Uh, he will allow me to ride in his Neo East 8. And what's really exciting is that Neo just um, did an update for the software uh, and now enabling autopilot functions. So, so yeah, let's see. Let's jump right into it. Oh yeah. So she's dancing to the song. Yeah, if you turn the music on and uh, I'll show, show this to you. So now it's a closed road. Yeah. So I can turn the autopilot on. How do you turn it on? Just okay. Just yeah. And I can adjust the, the speed. Yeah. So you're not doing anything now with the steering? Well, I don't do anything. But well, you should hold this yeah. the, for, for, for a long time. Yeah, yeah. Because if you leave your yeah. hands for about 20 seconds, yeah. you should it will turn off. Turn off. Yeah. And you should allow them first. Okay. okay you see. Yeah. Now is also activated. Yeah. Wow, it's driving itself. Yeah, driving itself. <laughs> this is crazy. That's the future. <laughs> yeah, that's the future. It's been a long day without you, my friend. Wow. And I'll tell you all about it. This is crazy. But now I don't trust this. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I always see yeah. and prepare for the break. Yeah. Yeah. So it's now breaking itself also because the, the, no, 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 the other one is itself, slower. Okay. Itself. Wow, okay. I didn't touch anything. I see. Yeah. It's an alarm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, no. You need to touch the, the no. second time. Yeah. And the third time, it's enough. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, uh, just like we turn to the other yeah. other side. Yeah. I can only. Oh, okay. So you now can, we, can, we can make change, the change, change the lane. Change the lane. Yeah. By control the yeah. lights. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Yeah. It's a new new function. Yeah. And uh, this function. So as you could see in the video, um, the, the, the update to the Neo Pilot uh, brings some cool advancements to the car. So it's possible to just stay in the lane, keep the lane. Uh, it won't break out. That's working quite well. Uh, also, if the car in front of you um, slows down a bit, uh, it will break automatically. And then a really cool feature that you can actually uh, change the lanes automatically. So you don't need to do anything. Uh, um, so. I think here uh, it, it's really interesting to see that via an over-the-air update um, Neo is able to bring such new features to the car uh, so possibly the technology uh, will not stand still here and there will be more updates coming and enhancing the capabilities of the car. Then I also managed to hop into a Tesla Model 3, uh, which just started selling in Shanghai. And um, I met one of the early adopters and he let me drive with, him, uh, with his car together to the Tesla Gigafactory in Shanghai. And I would say 80-90% of the ta time driving we were actually using autopilot functionalities. And that's, I would say, currently is the industry benchmark. There's no um, self-driving or driver assisting system that is more advanced than it. Uh, and as you can see here in the footage, uh, we even managed to ramp on highways and ramp off highways, uh, uh, take over cars, uh, also changing lanes, so all of it without any driver interaction. And that was really, really interesting to see. 
So whenever you see those blue lines on the display of the Model 3, you see that the, the car is actually driving itself. So it's only using the sensors uh, and the computer to um, see like where are the other cars. You actually see on the display like who are the cars in front, uh, besides and uh, uh, behind us. Um, so it's super exciting to see this kind of technology already on the road in China. And this bit was like the most exciting, you know, like the car um, going to the highway and then uh, needs to um, go onto the highway and turn left. Uh, so it waits until the last second, which is a little bit frightening to be honest, uh, but it takes, uh, like we've been doing this several times, uh, it takes the turn perfectly and just goes onto the highway. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, and then also sensors in this case that uh, in the back there's a car coming so um, it will overtake you and then later on uh, we also will overtake it again uh, increasing the speed automatically and then also keep the distance to the next car in front of us. So really exciting technology here. Wow, this is magic. Yeah, very cool, right? Yeah, wow. Increase the speed. How fun, then. So, to sum things up, uh, I made this little chart here. It's inspired by some research I found on Twitter. Uh, credits to Anthony Alassi. And um, yeah, what it basically shows is that um, uh, Tesla right now is in the leading position when it comes to those uh, driver assistant uh, functionalities and systems. Um, I witnessed it in Shanghai, uh, in China. This is the place where uh, all of those providers are actually releasing the latest tech. So when I was there, obviously, uh, Tesla already pushed a new navigate on autopilot functionalities, which have not been available in Europe so far. Um, then also Neo. Uh, push this over-the-air software update enabling uh, the pilot functionalities. I was really impressed with what NEO uh, delivered uh, as a first step. Um, if you see this little video here from some social uh, media in China, you can see that uh, the NEO driving, uh, the, the NEO pilot still lacks some capabilities that the Tesla system already have has. For instance, when overtaking, uh, the set Tesla system will uh, notice and sense that there is a, uh, a car behind, so it will not crash into the car. Whereas the NEO pilot, um, it depends on also the driver monitoring the situation because it otherwise would crash into the car. So, uh, but this this could actually improve over time in the in the future. And what we can see here is that also NEO has kind of a similar approach to Tesla when it, um, when it comes to technology. So not relying on a LiDAR system. Instead, it's a, a, a visual uh, system with uh, the, the latest camera technology and also um, uh, improving the software over time. Um, so uh, expect to see more of those trends happening in China. Chinese users in general are more, let's say, digitally advanced and they are more adaptive to change and they will try out new technologies. Same here with autonomous driving, uh, where 60% uh, believe autonomous cars will transport families in the future, whereas it's only 43% in the US and only 31% in Germany. So that shows uh, that in the West we do have some resistance to those kind of technologies, whereas the Chinese are more uh, willing to take up some uh, new features like that. That's it with our research here. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you find it insightful. If so, please give it a like, please give it a thumbs up and comment below. What do you think about our autonomous future? Uh, would you sit in such a car? And also, um, yeah, uh, you can dive down in our Dongxi network, um, sign up and you will find um, this video also with the slides and a little bit more of uh, insights around it. I know this video is a little bit longer now, but um, so maybe not fitting LinkedIn so well. That's why we also keep it in our network so sign up stay tuned for it and see you next time bye